welcome to day 35 of our 100 day uh, devotional and uh, we're going to be looking at healing in community uh, in James 5:16, it says this it says therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working this verse, it reminds us of the power of genuine faith-filled community. Healing isn't uh, always a solitary process. Often, God works through the prayers of encouragement of others to bring restoration and renewal to our lives. See, confessing our struggles and sins to someone that we trust isn't about shame or judgment. It's about releasing burdens and inviting accountability, support and prayer. You know, we've, we've all experienced how difficult it can be uh, to open up, to be vulnerable. But this verse really challenges us to see vulnerability as a pathway to healing. It is in sharing our burdens and struggles with others that we can feel the weight lift and, and experience the peace that comes from knowing that we're not alone. God created us for relationships and we often use those relationships to bring his healing and grace into our lives. So today, as we reflect on whether there are areas in our lives where we've been hesitant to open up, is there something that we've been struggling with alone that we need to share with a trusted friend or a mentor? Are we taking steps of faith by reaching out to someone in our community, asking for prayer and allowing them to walk alongside us in this season? We should also want to be available to others uh, by asking God to make us aware of someone who might need the support of encouragement today, offering to pray with them and to simply listen. Healing in community is a two-way street. It's about both giving and receiving. So Lord, thank you for the gift of community and the power of prayer. Help us to be vulnerable and to share our struggles with those that we trust so we can experience the healing of your promises. Use us to be a vessel to encouragement and support for others, and let our community reflect your love and grace. Amen. So James 5.16 teaches that healing, often within the context of community, and confessing our struggles and praying for one another, are really powerful acts of faith and draw us closer to God and to each other. So may we embrace the gift of koinia by being vulnerable, offering prayer and supporting one another on this journey of healing.